ridiculous thought. Um, first off, just apologize as to we you can hear it but not see these gorgeous grills of ours. <laughs> um, technical difficulties. This is what happens when, you know, uh, you do shit by yourself, you got other things going on. When the talent has to do the tech. That's that's basically what, what, what that's all about. But anyway you know, I, I wonder uh, I've had a couple of people ask us if we ever gonna go back to the big one. Oh yeah, we will. Yeah, uh, we're we'll waiting for. Oh, and uh, FYI, yeah. uh, Natalie uh, should be coming on vacation uh, at least today, so she should be back uh, in a couple of weeks. Um, well, a couple of weeks to us, but to you, you know. No, a couple of weeks. To oh them. yeah, that's right. What am I talking <laughs> about? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, despite the fact, and well, it, it, it is a bit of fact that you couldn't see us uh, last week, we promised. Uh, couple of, uh, well, one particular story that yeah. we will start off <laughs> with right now, and, um... Yeah, this is, this is too ridiculous to believe, man. What are you nudging to me for? Well, it's your story. Well, uh, yeah, well, I mean, this is, yeah, well, I did find this down. I found this completely ridiculous, and here it is. Businessman who ripped out a man's heart and ate it to prove he was not gay <laughs> apologizes <laughs> to victim's family and admits... Uh, he exceeded the boundaries of self-defense. Okay. So wait a minute. He was calling it self-defense. Yes. A businessman. Yeah, so I said, okay. Andrew uh, Chimboza, 35, who runs a window tinting business, pleaded guilty to murdering uh, some cat named I'm going to mispronounce this terribly. Mumbia <laughs> <laughs> um, I think the M is silent. B is cello manano. BM is all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to do this. 62 in the South African township of somewhere in South Africa uh, last year. He told police after he was arrested that he gouged out Mr. Uh, Monona's heart <laughs> and ate it as he lay bleeding to death to show him that I'm not a mafia. You know, I guess, you know, it's a slang term for, for homosexual. Appearing in court this week, uh, Chimboza told the judge, I'm sorry for what I've done and I have genuine remorse. I, and then he explained, I then took a knife and slit his throat and continued to stab him. So, okay. So he not only ripped this dude's heart out, but then I guess somehow, you know, I guess for those 20 seconds that the dude had left while his heart was <laughs> in this guy's mouth, he slashed his throat and finished chucking his body some more. And why, why do you believe that he was being mistaken for a monkey or... No, oh, forget to it. Okay, okay. You know, he explained later that Mr. Madonna attacked him in a jealous rage after accusing him of sleeping with his girlfriend. This is what the chim, the, 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 the cannibal said. He then explained he stabbed him and chopped out the man's heart because it was full of hatred and jealousy. The heart itself was packed, packed to the brim with hatred and jealousy. So I guess it tastes better. I guess that's seasoning to something. You know, he said... <laughs> I do not know why I ate it, and I accept my actions were wrong and exceeded the boundaries of self-defense. Because the removal of the heart was not the cause of death per se, it does not therefore have too much bearing on the plea of murder. It is nonetheless what? very disturbing. What? What? This is what the prosecutor said. Because the removal of the heart was not the cause of death, it does not therefore... Oh, so I guess that was reverse order. I guess he fucking... Poorly written article. He... Stabbed the guy up and slit his throat. Oh, him, so you know, the, you know, the, 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 that was the main injury that he was going to die from. And then I guess you know, but you know, just like in a movie, you got to pull it out and show it to him for the last <laughs> couple of seconds. And shit, your hands got to be like this, you know. I hear it last year. I heard that Chimboza flew into a rage after being insulted uh, by the victim while checking on a job he had done at his victim's girlfriend's house. Uh, he said. In your warning statement, you say, I sit upon him and stabbed him on the chest, tore out his heart, and took a knife and then sliced his heart, and then I ate his heart. The reason for me to eat the unknown guy's heart was to show him that I am not a mafia. And after I finished eating the heart, I realized he was dead. Okay. So, you realize the dude that was now heartless with an open chest cavity was dead. Like, that was a big revelation. Oh, my God. So, investigator officer constable, whatever his name is, told the hearing that the officer who arrested Chimboza at the scene found him chewing raw flesh and then that the victim's neck had been half eaten. So, so he ate the heart and the neck. And then I guess he ravaged the dude's neck like a fucking wolf and shit or something. <laughs> 
He added that his chest had a gaping hole in the, in the left side. This is macabre. However, Chimboza, originally from Zimbabwe, later disputed the veracity of the statement, arguing that it was fabricated after he was assaulted by the police. So apparently he's saying they beat him down and embellished okay, the, 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 the... Did I miss the part where you explain why he thought he was being accused of beating him up? I, I, okay, wait a second. Where the fuck is that? No, I guess he said because, no, the dude said he was sleeping, I guess, sleeping with his girlfriend. Who knows? But then that means you're heterosexual. Just a... Uh, 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 it makes no sense. A slut or a trash or something like that. But, I mean, I, I don't understand. My whole thing is, because here, I'm going to read it again in his explanation. Shimoza later claimed Mr. Monona attacked him in a jealous rage after accusing him of sleeping with his girlfriend. So, you're right. So, I'm figuring if I am sleeping with your woman and your woman is not transgender or something like that, then you should be, I should be, I guess, I don't know what part of you I should be cutting out. But uh, I, I, my reasons wouldn't be because you're accusing me of being gay. Yeah, so this man yeah, clearly yeah, had yeah. a homophobic. This dude, I mean, I guess any insult, le, le, you know, <laughs> leveled upon this man was going to be construed as a homosexual attack, and you were going to get your heart, your heart eaten. Uh, that's that's because the dude obviously just, you know, he didn't want to snap. Yeah, yeah it was some, like what? What could justify me? Eating this dude's heart and his fucking neck down. This dude obviously had ra- he, he clearly had rage issues. I mean, because I mean, seriously, I mean, if anything, you know, I, I don't know. I, I can think of a variety of different ways. All right, if you think I'm gay and I'm I'm such a bad dude, you know, I'll knock you the fuck out. Bring your girlfriend in here, you know, pipe her out in front of you, you know, or something like that. Some horrible bad guy shit that'll show that I'm not gay, you know. Or you know, if you want to go jailhouse, fuck him. You know, uh, yeah, I'm not the gay one, you are. You know, some <laughs> shit like that. Uh, uh, and plow out the victim. But chopping this dude's heart out and all this other nasty shit is just, it's uncalled for. It's totally uncalled for. We live in Brooklyn, baby. We live in Brooklyn.